G'day guys, just before we start today's video, I just want to shout out to the channel official sponsor, KareenPetCentral.com.au um, I've actually got a discount code for the website, so if you go buy something on the website and head to the checkout, use the coupon code RUMBLE, one word, R-U-M-B-A-L-L, -L, and you'll actually get 10% off store wide. Um, I really think this is exciting, so I really, I really like the fact that uh, somebody who's helping me can help you get products cheaper. Not to mention, they sell extreme aquatic fish food. Did you like that, there, guys? I just had that sitting there. That was the spare of the moment thing. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's get stuck into today's video. G'day guys, welcome to Rommel's Fish Room. So, today I'm going to show you a little hack on the uh, egg tumblers. For anybody who's paid attention in my videos of my African stripping, you'll notice my egg tumblers in the fish room already have this mod. But I've got a heap, more new, heap of new egg tumblers, so I'm going to mod a few, um, not all of them. i got like 20 new ones. Um, I rarely ever bank out the ones that I have and need more. So I'll probably maybe make four or five more as an emergency backup. Um, check it out guys, the shed is absolutely trashed. Um, the remote control cars took over my life for a bit there, but um, they're all sold except for one, which I'm thinking about keeping. Um, it's a 112th Truggy. Is it a Truggy or a Buggy? I can't remember. But it's one twelfth. It's so cute. Um, or I was actually thinking about putting it up as swaps for a one sixteenth. Now only a couple of you will know what that is. But anyway, this this channel is a fish channel. But I do like to indulge in some other things. Um, let's get some egg tumblers out. We need to clear the table because it's covered in RC stuff. And then uh, I'm going to show you. Alright guys, so I've got three egg tumblers here. I'm just going to take the tops off. We don't need the tops at the moment. And then I've actually got um, fiberglass fly wire. Not the metal stuff. You've got to make sure it's the, I don't know, make-believe fly wire. It's not really make-believe, is it? It's real fly wire. It's just not metal. Um, so we're going to cut out four squares. Three squares. Three. There's three. Um, so I guess I kind of explain what the hack is first. So we're actually deleting the foam sponge on the bottom and we're putting fly wire on the bottom. Now, you might be like, why are you putting fly wire on the bottom? It's already got a, it's already got a bottom with holes in it. Um, yes, it does, but... If you've got fish in the tank, they actually can eat the eggs through the holes, which is quite a pain. So you pretty much want to put, so I'm, I'm gluing fly wire on the bottom of these. Sorry guys if I'm breaking my sentences. I'm actually listening to Blake's Aquatics live stream at the same time. So shout outs to Blake's Aquatics. Congratulations on reaching 1500 subs. Um, what was I saying? All right, so we're gonna glue the fly wire on the bottom of this. So there's a bit of a trick to this. Um, you cut the fly wire squares quite a bit bigger. Um, so this this is probably like six centimeters by six centimeters, maybe even a little bit bigger. All right, so um, let's start that again. The power of editing, I just actually cut out the clip of me putting this one on because I failed miserably. But since putting that one on, I've come up with a new technique that seems to work. So let's do it again. So put the um, super glue on here. Now this, I say super glue, but it's not like the $1 tube you get from the shopping center. This stuff takes a few minutes to go off. Well, not even minutes. All right, so now you get another egg tumbler. Um, if you don't have a spare egg tumbler, 
I guess you could use anything really. Um, but if you notice, I'm keeping the top one moving. We're not letting the top one sit still. So that way it doesn't actually stick to the top one. Yeah, that's a way better technique than the last one I just did. But so now once it's on, I like to just go over it a tiny little bit. Little bit of glue, not much. I'm hardly squeezing this bottle. I'm just putting a dribble on it. All right, so then we've got one left to do. Should I do it on or off camera, guys? All right, I'll do it on camera. And if I stuff this one up, I won't edit it out. We'll keep it on there. I don't even know where. Oh, this is going to be the hardest out of all of them. The um, fly wire's got a kink in it. So if, I, if this one works, it's foolproof, my technique. Because... This fly wire's actually got a kink in it. Um, my, I don't, my fly wire, I've actually kept it. Oh, it's not sticking. Oh, it's a fail, guys. Oh, it's stuck to this one. Uh, let's have one more shot. It's stuck on one side. Maybe I went too thin with the glue. But I promised you guys I wouldn't edit it out. So you guys are getting the raw footage on this one. Unedited, unedited clip. Oh, the sensor light just turned off. Makes for really bad YouTube videos. I think I didn't move this enough and it actually stuck to this. Doesn't want to go one way for some reason. It, it must be catching on something on the bottom of the tumbler that I've got on top of it. It's just like one side not sticking down. Oh, this is live action and failure, guys. It's still good. It's still good. Good thing about this is you can just keep trying, I guess. Why isn't it working? Ah. All right, so it's kind of stuck down. So now, I guess I'll just try and do the double bead glue thing. When you put the second bit of glue on, it actually gets the glue. Oh, and that was just stuck to the bench. All right, so I'm going to tell you, don't use another egg tumbler to do it. Use something flat, like a bit of car cardboard would be good. Oh, if the table was clean, I could have just rubbed them on the table, maybe. But the end problem, actually, a 40 mil piece of PVC would be perfect because you don't want to get the glue on the inside of the mesh. If, if I slid it around on the table, I would get the... All the all the all the fiberglass would get covered in in um super glue in the middle. All right, so when you do this, make sure you use a really nice flat bit of fly wire. Don't store your fly wire scrunched up in a ball. Because if you notice, the last one went on a piece of cake. That was a nice flat section. This one's got a kink in it. And it's been very difficult. How long's this video been going for, guys? Five minutes of me struggling. Oh. It's stuck now. It's stuck. Oh, there's one spot. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. This stuff takes five minutes to go off. Not like super glue, which is instant. But I guess at the same time. If it was the cheap super glue going off instant, you'd only get one shot. Whereas this, it sort of fell off and I could keep going. Anyway, I'm going to let this one dry and get back to you because this clip's dragging. Alright, so I'm definitely going to add a note to that. Make sure you store your fly wire 
in a flat manner because that one took me a long time to get it all stuck down. Um, I didn't end up adding any more glue. I just had to keep waiting and waiting. All right, so now you literally just get the scissors and cut around the outside. Um, you can get sandpaper and sand it even if you want, but I don't think I've got any sandpaper here to be honest. How's that? I'm a cabinet maker and I don't have sandpaper at my house. Anyway, so look, fly wire. So that way the fish in the tank can't suck the fry, the eggs out of the tumbler and also it doesn't get clogged. Um, I find if you use these sponges every every day you've got to clean them out and when oh that was stuck to the bench um, when you're running 15 egg tumblers cleaning 15 little sponges every day is not desirable as you guys know I like making things as easy for myself as possible and um, this is definitely to me it's an absolute must mod to these egg tumblers um not dropping any brand names but i'm not a fan of the more expensive tumblers um these six dollar tumblers or whatever they are with that light with that fly wire on the bottom five minute mod well ten minutes if you stuff one like i did um i think that's all stuck yeah it seems to be pretty stuck um, I think these outperform the more expensive tumblers and I'm saying that with experience. I actually, if you guys are OGs, you know, I own a more expensive tumbler. I've owned a tumbler that retails for $90 and I thought the $7 tumbler was better. So, um, there's two brand names if you can think of them. Wow, my back sore from bending over. Oh, I hope you like that little mod guys. Let me know what you think. I want to try and do more hack videos. Um, I think the things I've learned over the years, I, I want to try to help people that are starting out in fish rooms and that. Um, and I, I think, to be quite honest, I think that hack videos can gain a bit more traction as far as channel growth. Um, I'm trying to think of ways to get, get a bit more channel growth without selling myself out. This is a personal vlog, not a tutorial channel. So um, I wanna keep the entertainment up for my regulars, if that makes sense. Um, I, I don't know. I'm really at a crossroad at the moment. I hit a thousand subs and I've just hit like a roadblock. A um, thousand was my goal and I don't really have any goals from as of now. So I don't really know how to push forward from here. Um, obviously, we had the issue in the fish room last week. It's put a real dampener on things, but um, I am moving forward. Uh, we've got fish in that tank, which is exciting. Um, and I'm actually thinking about bagging all fish with methylene blue when they leave my house from now on. Um, it's, it's basically free. It's inexpensive. The only problem is I've only got methylene blue powder. So I actually need to make up methylene blue liquid and it needs to be shelf stable. So I need like to, I need some chemicals to make it. So that will be a future video. I'm sure some of you guys might actually be interested in that too. Um, I'm going to run net sanitizers, but I don't know what I'm going to run it in because I, I can't think of a, I'm honestly thinking about making a glass tank as a net sanitizer tank because I can't think of any tub that is the right size for my net. But anyway, I'm dribbling shit now. This was meant to be a quick little video. Um, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.